there's only one thing left to say. Let's rev it up! Alright guys, welcome back. Um, I'm gonna do a few test hunts, or maybe just one, because one turn can take pretty long. But I guess it'll give you an idea of, of what to do if you don't open up the, the actual combo, or even, I'll, I'll, see, I'll, I'll see what I draw, and I'll, I'll play it out, and it'll give you guys a sense of what you can do. Alright, so let's go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's a perfect example of how you can brick. <laughs> if you went second, it would have been a little better because you would have drawn that. And then you would have just lured, and then lured again, and that would have been horrible. Game two, <laughs> it would be the best option there. But yeah, like. Just getting that out of the way, like that, that can happen, and not 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 as often, but it, it can happen. And sometimes it happens when it matters the most, and that's when it hits the hardest. Because you be like, oh man, like, what? Why did I have to break like freaking round nine undefeated? Like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, but let's try it again. You just, you just gotta get past that. You gotta get past that. The fact that you can break and. You gotta think of game two and three, cause you, you can still win two in a row. So like that, do, do, do. Okay, that's pretty bad. These are perfect examples of how you can break. But as I as I as, I, as I've said, uh, probably two out of ten times you'll break. So this is the two. So the next the next eight, which I'm not gonna do eight, <laughs> cause this is gonna be um. Uh, it'll take too long. Okay, so hopefully they don't break this time. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm I'm pretty tempted to do five 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 draws to see if I, if if eight if the next eight I don't break. Um, okay, so right here, right away you allure because you, you can't really do much here. So allure one, two. So that's awesome. So right here, give it this. No, get rid of this. Get rid of that, yeah. Okay, so what you do here is you this is pretty much the basic combo. It's the base the basic the basic combo. So summon uh, normal, you send your level eater and seeing that double summon is gonna be really helpful here, it's gonna come in handy like really really bad. Okay, so then you're gonna go ahead and level eat. And you're gonna go for Excel. Just get the jet out of the deck as fast as possible. When it makes sense, of course, it has to make sense. Otherwise, uh, there's no need for it. But yeah, ma majority, like 90% of the time, or 95% of the time, you want to get it out of, the, out of the deck as fast as possible. And then right here. Seeing as you have junk and be normal summon, you can um you can reduce if you want. No, higher. Yeah, higher. So then you go double summon. And summon this. Get back this. And then you go into your lover room. And then you're gonna. So yeah, he's boosted. Oh, that's that's burned already. So that's good. And you go for coral. You draw a card. Boom. Turning. And go ahead. You go ahead and use it right away. Clean out your deck because it's. It's better your chances of drawing into soul charge and vanities because that's that's all you're doing right now. You want to draw into soul charge first. And then Vanities. And you know. This one good at all. And you're gonna level eat Coral Dragon. Oh man. So bad. Keep the synchro separate because sometimes it, it, I lose track and there's times where I've 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 um I've miscalculated and thought I had a synchro and an extra deck, deck and I didn't have, oh damn I already already used it. And it just messes me up so bad. Uh, so let it go. Uh, Librarian, 
Coral charge. So draw three. One, two, three. That's really good. If they if they max seed you, then that will save you there. All right. So right here you have options. So let's go ahead and send bulb. Get another one star tuner to um, get more formulas and then draw. Because that's pretty much what you want to do right now. You just want to keep drawing the most you can while being able to end with Quasar and Crystal or Quasar and Herald. Okay. So then right here you can just level like let's do this. Let's level the charge. And then you just go bolt. I hate when it happens when you want one. And you go for your formula. And this is where you just pretty much see that you have. You just get your engine going already. One, go two. And then. Where to go from here? I mean, you could end with. Okay, you can end with that uh, Quasar and Herald now if you really want to, but you want to keep drawing. So that's what you want to do. So let's go Crystal first. Free up a space. Free up, free up a spot. And since you have uh, three quick draws and you only need two, then you can just you can you can afford to pitch one. Level E, quick draw. And go for Jet Warrior. And then draw another card. Oh, Venice. That's good. So you do this before Soul Charge. So it's not so bad. Uh, I mean, if you want to end there, you can. If you really want to, you could. But. Let's try to keep going. So let's go seven. Ancient Fairy. Draw the card. Awesome. You're gonna go ahead and use Jet's effect. Wrong one. What? Special bolt. Okay. Oops, sorry, I'm gonna quick. And reduce Ancient Fairy. Bring back. Oh, it gets banished. Oops. Draw one, draw two, start these out, just keep track. Mm, well, this is dead. Well, not really, I can just top deck for plague and then just. Yeah. Okay, so here, you can go. Level it this. Yeah, then you're gonna have to end up with that. Because there's not enough room. And this is what I mean, you gotta be careful sometimes, otherwise you lock yourself. I mean, you can still end with a good board. You can still end with Quasar or Herald. So you just go ahead. Put Quasar. And then you just pitch. Have an insurance for next turn. Just in case they break your board. And you just pitch whatever the dead one, and then you can go. Uh, mm, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Just top deck for click. And then you're gonna level eight crystal. Going to Tatsunoko. It's so easy to scale with Tatsunoko. It's like really, that's why it's really, really good. And then go. We do points more and go Herald. And then just set this. You don't, you don't really set Twin Twister because you don't want to lose it just in case they die their Twin Twister. You want to be able to have your Twin Twister for your draw phase. 
just in case I have back row and this comes back. But yeah, like, that's pretty good. Ending with that, pretty awesome. And then when this comes back, just add whatever you want. But you keep in mind that sometimes you have to minus like really bad with the deck in order to get the reward. Because sometimes you, other decks they can't do that. Like when other decks minus themselves, they can't really re reward themselves as much as combo decks can. Because when you risk it and you draw into something really awesome, it's like, oh damn, you just pretty much, the momentum just goes like insane. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's I guess an example of what you can do. Uh, I hope it was helpful. Uh, if it was, then I, I did my job. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs>